Welcome to Coffee with Kerry and thanks for joining me as I read my latest book. And by the way, we're on page 22. Your cultural beliefs change your body song and longevity. We see evidence of this when it comes to deeply ingrained cultural beliefs. Chinese medicine and Chinese astrology strongly maintain that people that have certain combinations of birth and disease related years are fated to die. For example, 1937 is a fire year and the heart is the organ associated with that year. Researchers found that Chinese Americans born in 1937 were vastly more likely to die from heart problems than those not born in a fire year. Our culture literally gets under our skin and into our cells in ways that aren't readily visible to us. I love how centenarian Agnes Marperson sidestepped a culture that treats aging as terrible. When asked what were her favorite 10 years of her life, she replied, I suppose the latest. And when another person said, I feel 110 today, Agnes replied, I don't think I ever feel old. I feel young. My life is fabulous, no matter my age. Her mind song is vibrating this message to her heart, her gut, her cells and her DNA. And in return, her cells are producing the kind of biological health notes that have led to her longevity. Everything vibrates through and changes our biology. Important research. Two groups of people were asked to solve anagrams. The experimental group didn't know that all the words they were given were words to do with aging. Example, philorgaft equals forgetful, elrif equals frail. The control group worked on anagrams of non-age related words and were then dismissed. Researchers had concealed someone who timed the participants' walking speed to record how long it took them to walk from the room to the elevator on their way out. Those who had worked with the words related to old age walked slower when exiting the laboratory than the group that had worked with neutral words. The conclusion, something had changed in the body song and biology of the experimental group merely from working with old related words. Their bodies took the old words literally. Imagine how Ruth Kelly's body song showed up in her cells after she chose to go zip lining when she turned 88 and river rafting on her 90th birthday. And we're not talking some tame rapid free river. It was a pretty wild ride. Woohoo! We're young and about to have fun. It's no wonder that at 93, she lives on her own, drives, is cognitively sharp, and seldom has health issues. Her body song looks immediately different to that of someone who sits in a rocking chair watching TV and thinking about how miserable life is. Wow. When we realize that everything in our environment, all of those beliefs, are getting underneath our skin and changing our biology to reflect what it is that we believe, that tells us that we have enormous power over how we age. And so I'm always careful to join in those conversations about aging. I really don't want to spend my time talking to people that are negative, that are talking about doctor's appointments. I'd rather be spending my time doing things like Ruth Kelly's doing. Because we don't even realize how subtly we program ourselves. But listen to yourself speak and see how often you catch yourself saying, ah, oh, well, I've got old timers disease. Think about and catch yourself in the many times that you will tell a joke about being old. And yes, humor is always a good thing, don't get me wrong. But ask yourself, is this joke part of what I believe about aging? Because we can change how we age in pretty remarkable ways. 
And as we work through the book, there's going to be more and more evidence of exactly that. Thanks for joining me today. And don't forget, you can order my book off Amazon. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.